Can I pull off two videos in a row? Two days in a row? Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we got the trailer wrap project on the floor here. Still working out a couple of issues. I uh, got a line of bubbles and the laminate right here. I'll show it to you. Yeah. That sucked. But what I ended up doing, I just reprinted that bottom half. And uh, it's not ideal, but I don't think that'll be noticeable. At least it'll be a lot less noticeable than those bubbles. So had to reprint the bottom sections of two panels. And then we had the back of the trailer to do, which has sponsors on it. This is for a Veterans Memorial Park. It's a 28 foot trailer, absolutely massive. And so I'm gonna try to take you guys on the road today see how it goes. I'm sure I'll get asked this, but uh, the type of medium I'm using is the Arlon SLX Plus 102 white. And then also I use Arlon Optically Clear 3200 for the laminate. I will say I picked up some really good tips at the show um, from Printing United Show on um, car wrapping. Uh, particularly uh, from General Formulations booth, they had an installer that was out there, and the installer um, talked about why he liked the General Formulations product. Um, he didn't work for General Formulations, he was just there doing installs, and he kind of showed me a couple things that uh, I'll end up showing you guys at some point in some video. Maybe this one. It is. 8.30, auto my pest. And so this is the, the laminate that's on this is the, uh, it's a 1.3 mil. Most just standard laminates are two mil. Uh, it ties these outer dips. And when you stretch it into somewhere, the hotter, wherever the film is the hottest, is the, where, that's where it's going to give. Yeah. So I want to stretch from what's ultimately going to be on the flat area. I don't want to just roast this and have all my stretch come out from the, where the, the vinyl is going to be the deepest. I want to yeah. maintain the adhesive integrity where it's going to be. Okay. So I'm going to heat it in the center. And then when I go in here, it's going to pull the vinyls from the center. Gotcha. Yeah, that is deep. Anytime you're doing it, you want to stretch over the largest surface area possible. I don't want to go locking this down. Right. From the edge. And now, I'm, now I have this really tight channel that I'm going to stretch in that inch and a half. Yeah. Same thing over here. I'll soften that edge, but then I'm gonna focus my heat, you know, five, six, seven inches away from it. Okay. And it's best to, to kind of get it in one, just from a from a an abuse on the on the vinyl. Yeah. Not kind of just like chop at it in little strokes. Get it in one. Right. You know, and that's gonna take a certain amount of practice and comfort level with the feel of the vinyl. Yeah. Get it to where there's not a whole lot of nonsense going around. You know, depending on the like, way it goes. It goes off around the edge. You do that like you've done it before. A few hundred times. <laughs> Maybe a few thousand. <laughs> It's just to, to give you the slick so I'm not creating drag when I'm after I heat it up. Um, I, I, I actually don't have it here at my shop. I'll use like a split. So you'll, you'll notice I stopped before I got all the way. Yeah. So even though it's slick, I am creating a little bit of drag as I go Right. Across. You just and don't want to pull it. Going, yeah. If I kept going instead of stopping and coming from the bottom towards it, it would have just created basically a big wrinkle right there. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm adding more film. As right. Right. Wow. The, uh, so this was likely going to happen because I'll have to. 
sometimes there's like a, uh, a center hole like that goes through the panel that the air can escape from. This one I don't think does. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to end up having to do is create a little, you know, this little release area. point. Just one little slip. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's behind the last plate, so. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I thought I'd show you all something neat and flexy. So this is the side of the trailer right here. And when you go to print and you go to panels, uh, actually, I'll show you. All right. So this is actually how we set it up. We just said, okay, we want six columns out of this. Six columns made it 49.83 inches. And so that's wide enough for us to print. So we we're able to print this thing in six panels. I messed up a bottom panel here and a bottom panel here. And so what I was able to do is add three rows to this thing. That way I could print this lower third and this lower third. And if you right click on everything that you don't want to print, you can only, you can print only the two little panels that I wanted to print here. I thought that was really neat. The 10 foot long keen cut does come in quite handy with a project like this when we're working with basically, I don't know, those probably like seven foot long pieces, maybe eight foot long pieces there. Um, you can see here, I kind of put it right where I see some color going all the way down. Oh, I meant to show you in the video over there. We also had a half inch gap. Overlap, not gap. We also have a half inch overlap for the panels. So I have a lot of room to work with in terms of trimming off, but my goal is to trim off all the white, but as little of the graphic as possible. So I'll show you what this does. So you can see just a smidgen. I've used that word like twice now this week. Terrible, I'm sorry. All right, so I've been sanding this old painted mural off and we have that. So we have to take alcohol and get off the dust, but thankfully it's actually working. o'clock. Here's what we have done. An exhausted choice. <laughs> Get it finished That's a wrap. Seriously, that is a wrap. Um, we wrapped a 28 foot trailer, uh, both sides, front and back. 
Um, turned out really, really good. Uh, we're very pleased. It's not 100% perfect, but mostly um, the imperfections comes from the paint job that was underneath it. And we told the client ahead of time, look, this paint job underneath here is going to show through. The texture is gonna show through the wrap. They didn't care. Very happy with how it turned out. I've already put it on all the social media platforms. And so we'll see if we land some more uh, wrap jobs from this. I'm not sure I want to do a lot of wrap jobs. Um, I'm willing to do something like a trailer. The trailer's pretty easy to do. Stuff like a uh, truck bed, the side truck beds and things like that. But I don't want to do full on wraps for vehicles at all. We did have an arrangement with a client of ours that does detailing to install uh, things like this. Um, they're kind of new at it. And they gave us the space to be able to do this indoors. So that was a huge help. They were kind of able to see the process that we're doing and, and get a feel for it as they transition. I think the problem is, and this was months ago when we developed that relationship, but we just haven't had a lot of wrap jobs to do. And so it's like, if we can scale it up a smidge and really push the marketing side of it, I think it would go a long ways towards that relationship. And if I can get to the point where all we're doing is printing and laminating wraps and trimming it and handing it over to them to do the install, I'll do that all day long. I would love to do that. So that's kind of the goal. My goal is not to do a lot of wraps. Uh, my goal is to do zero installations. I just got to get there. That's a wrap on this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Leave some comments. Well, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Take care.